right, looks like we're ready. <clears throat> so everybody, thanks for joining me in this live video. Um, getting started a few minutes later here because I've spent so long since I've done one of these, it took me a little bit to figure it out. Anyways, I just wanted to um, do a live video tonight. I've got some um, things to share with you, and it's been a while since I've posted, since I've done a live video, and also since I posted. And so there have been some changes, and I just wanted to share with you all of everything that's going on. <clears throat> so, um, so basically I'm going to talk about three kind of major announcements that I've got um, in store for you, and then also give you a quick tour of the layout and kind of show you a few changes that I've made and uh, do a little short tour. And then I'm going to get to some uh, comments and questions. So if you have anything, any questions that you want to ask, uh, feel free to leave a comment right now as I'm doing the video, and I'll get to them at the end. So. Um, so first of all, the, the first change that I want to mention to you is that um, I'm going to be changing the layout name. It's going to be, this is, this, I, I was calling it the SPSF South Omaha Industrial Spur. I'm going to change the name to the Stockyard Industrial Lead. And the reason behind that is I wanted to give it a better location name um, than just South Omaha. I wanted to kind of cement it in, in where it actually exists in Omaha. And I also wanted to kind of tie it into the history of it. So, so this will be the Stockyard Industrial Lead uh, from now on, and hopefully it'll be that way for a while, so uh, stop confusing you with the, the name changes. Um, the second announcement is that I'm going to be changing the railroad that operates this industrial spur uh, from the SPSF to the, um, uh, to the Union Pacific. And that's kind of a, a bit of a shift, and so I wanted to explain that a little bit. Um, the main reason behind that is because I feel the Union Pacific is a better fit to operate this spur um, because it's in Omaha, it's a former Rock Island line right next to the Union Pacific main line. It just seems to make more sense and be a little bit more realistic. Um, I always thought that I was having to make excuses for why the SPSF existed and operated this spur in Omaha and I really want to um, model this location and so I feel that the Union Pacific is it's just an overall better fit for that and also ties in more with um, my background because I grew up as a kid uh, watching the Union Pacific in Omaha and so it just resonates with me a little bit more. Um, the SPSF is still going to have a presence here as you'll see um, but it's just the Union Pacific is going to be operating it and so basically that just means I need to, um, I'm, I'm changing my motive power a little bit um, but otherwise the rolling stock will be the same, the industries will be the same. Um, the SPSF still has trackage rights into Omaha and, and we'll still have the interchange here at the South Omaha Yard. So um, so I don't don't foresee it as being a huge change, but obviously the locomotives is, is kind of a huge, huge shift. So just wanted to, to mention that. Uh, the third thing is then with that change is I'm going to be changing the name of this Facebook page from the SPSF Railway to the Stockyard Industrial Lead uh, to go along with these changes. And um, if, if you've noticed, if you've been following this page for the last few years, you, you notice that I've been focusing a lot more on the layout and you know the actual modeling of it and what I, what I do in the layout, you know, the, the different things, as opposed to uh, kind of a corporate existence, if you will, the SPSF Railway. And so I'm, I'm, it's just basically continuing that and, and basically renaming the page so that it's, it's more accurate. And um, I don't know if any of you were around like over five years ago when I first started this page, um, I really wanted to, I, as, as I started modeling the SPSF Railway again, I wanted the page to be about the SPSF and, and this you know fantasy empire that I was building. Um, but I quickly realized that I didn't really have a whole lot of content to share after a few posts. You know, you kind of share the map and your fantasy you know, diesel um, um, roster, and then you know you kind of after a while it gets it gets a little old. And so what I found that kept me going was sharing updates about the layout and what I was doing and the obsessions and and you know the operations of it and making that more that was a lot more interesting than I could post things about. So this is again just just a change to uh, uh, basically you know better describe what I'm actually doing on this page and showing you is is the uh, the layout and not not this fantasy railroad. So and I've also been a little more interested I guess in prototype uh, stuff lately so so I just felt that would be a better change so I uh, just wanted to let you know those three things um, so so you know that you know next day or two this this page will change its name from SPSF Railway to Stockyard Industrial Lease I don't want you to be caught off guard with that 
Um, I've also got a Stockyard Industrial Meat website. It's already up. Um, it's stockyardmeat.com if you want to go there. Um, it's kind of the same information about the layout that I have before. You can see the track plan there, uh, for example. So, um, so yeah, those are the those are the three big changes that I that I wanted to share with you in a live video. I thought this would be a, a pretty appropriate platform to do it. Um, so again, the, the name of the layout's changing to Stockyard Industrial Lead. Um, it's going to be operated by Union Pacific, still with SPSF uh, Interchange, and also be changing the name of the uh, Facebook page to better correspond with what I'm actually, you know, the content that I'm putting on this page. So, um, so yeah, I don't know, it might be kind of big, big, a uh, little bit of big news for folks, so feel free to ask questions about it. I tried to explain why I'm doing this, so hopefully that helps. Um, that's the other reason why I wanted to do this in a video rather, rather than just, you know, posting an update. So, um, so with that, I will go ahead and do a little tour of the layout and then answer any questions. So again, if you have questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, so one thing with the layout is I've, um, again, I'm, I'm trying to really focus on a small switching layout. And I really want, again, this is kind of like with the Stockyard Industrial Lead, I, I wanted to name that, that lane following a, rail, a specific railroad, right? So that it was more focused on the layout and the industrial spur rather than you know, the railroad on it, kind of, I guess, similar to like what um, uh, Lance Minheim does with his downtown Miami Spur. Um, that, to me, seems to be more focused on on the, the layout, the industrial spur, rather than the CSX railroad. So, um, so anyways, as I was earlier this year kind of thinking about if I had to start from scratch, how would my small switching layout look like? And I came up with a concept, you know, basically I would like two locations, um, and then have either a yard or staging area, and then, um, you know, maybe like seven industries or so. And so I, that, that kind of hit me as thinking, well, my layout is still maybe a little too big, bigger than I'd like it to be. And so why don't I just do that now with, with what I've already got built, um, so I don't have to spend a whole lot of time rebuilding it. And so that's so what I decided to do then was get rid of the Papillion location, which used to be right about here. And now I'm left with the South Omaha Yard, the South Omaha area, and Bellevue. So two locations, got seven industries. I've shifted things around a little bit, but left a lot the same. So I'll, I'll give you, I'll show you around a little bit right now. Um, one thing to note though, that it's still a little under construction. I'll follow this up with an official, you know, welcome video tour on my YouTube channel um, uh, later. But for now, um, it's kind of under construction, hopefully, in the next week or so as I make some more progress it'll go a little better but I'll, I'll give you a little tour so this is the South Omaha yard over here um, this is pretty much unchanged from what it used to be before um, the same track layout of everything still have the uh, the Union Pacific main line back over here and this is the South Omaha yard so uh, when our processions start It'll be pretty similar to how they used to be. We'll have the a Union Pacific local will come up and have its train with the cars from Union Pacific. And then there'll be cars from the SPSF that were interchanged here uh, from its manifest train from Kansas City. And then the crew will have to block the cars to serve the customers before the session starts. And then at the end of the session, they'll then block the cars that are heading back to the Council Bluffs yard for Union Pacific or for an interchange with the SPSF. Uh, and the cars that will stay here. So so that's that's one uh, small change in my op sessions that there'll be a little bit more kind of yard switching, if you will. So that, that should be kind of interesting. But otherwise, the yard basically is the same. And then over here in the South Omaha, um, this is where some of the, the construction work is going on. I'm basically removing one of the through tracks and, 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 um, um, and basically, I'm keeping the siding, making that the main line, which is kind of appropriate, I think, for a branch line. Um, but just making it a little more simplified back here because I don't need two sidings on a on a small switching spur. <clears throat> so the industry over here, this is going to be the uh, cold storage. And I'm going to be replacing the grain elevator that I was uh, planning for this with a transload. Be taking out that center track and the transload office will be the depot here <clears throat> and then in the foreground this is going to be the altar uh, metal recycling scrapyard and then over here where it used to be the cold storage is going to be the the large lazier plant uh, which used to be in papillion and it's kind of the main reason for existence of this industrial spur because it has the most traffic and it's an important industry 
So that's the South Omaha area, and then we'll move down into the Bellevue area. The Bellevue area is um, relatively unchanged. The track work is going to stay exactly the same. Uh, you're going to have a run around um, so that you can can turn around your train here. Um, the standard distribution payless is going to be the same. Um, one new industry that I'm going to have back here is um, a, a customer that gets uh, plastic pellet hoppers. And so that'll be different. And then uh, one thing that I'm that I'm kind of excited about is with uh, ending the layout here, instead of going on to Papillion, there's kind of a natural end where this uh, Papio Creek bridge is. Um, the, the story goes that, you know, there was a flood, the bridge was damaged, and the railroad did not want to repair it. And so this is where, where the line ends. So it's a, a much more natural, um, I think, end of line for this this uh, track that used to be a Rock Island uh, main line, basically. So that's just a, a brief tour of the layout. Um, again, I got a little bit of work to do, work to finish up here in South Omaha, and then be back in, in operation mode. I'm hoping to have the next op session maybe in a month or so, and then hopefully can kind of wrap this stuff up here in the next week. Shouldn't take too much longer. So, but yeah, so that's a, um, basically it. And with that, I guess I can close out the, the video. I'll just check real quick and see if there's any questions from, from anyone. Uh, let's see. Yes, we've got a couple questions. And looks like uh, Joe Stewart says, is the backdrop eventually going to be a consistent height? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Do you mean, oh, are you talking about maybe back here in Bellevue? Um, I'll, I'll kind of explain to you what I did back there. I wanted to, um, I cut this backdrop here because I wanted, I wanted it to be more visible when you first walk into the basement. See, there's the door. And so I wanted you to be able to, to walk in and basically get this view of like, oh yes, there's a train layout. Whereas before it was kind of a backdrop and you couldn't see anything. And so I wanted people to be able to see this scene when they walk in. And also, because there's not going to be any train operation right here, um, I didn't feel the need for having a backdrop. And so, and this is really where the only section that I have a plywood backdrop. And I do have a little corner, odd corner there that I might smooth out, but I don't know how important that is. And I kind of like this height here because um, you can actually see over it and see what other people are doing on the other side a little bit better. And then of course back here you've got the rest of the layout is uh, just the concrete wall. So, um, so cool. Glad I, glad I was able to explain that, that for you. So, so yeah. Um, but again, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try to just tell you a little bit about what I'm planning to do in the future is, um, you know, do more posts about what I'm doing in the layout. And so, um, stay tuned. I'll have more about, you know, locomotive projects that I'm working on and I'll post more about the track work and stuff that I'm doing. So uh, Jeremy says, good to see your videos again. Hope you're doing well and keep up the great work. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, everything's going good. And like I said, I'm, this is, this was a bit of a shift and so I couldn't really post anything new. Um, and so it was kind of hard as I'm in this transition. And I also wanted to kind of uh, go through all my thoughts and make sure that I had everything kind of, um, figured out because the other idea that I had actually, and I'm sure as, as modelers, you know how this goes, you've got all sorts of options at your disposal and you've got all sorts of ideas that you could go with. And so another thought that I had was having a short line operate this spur, um, which would, would be very fitting as well. And there was a short line in the South Omaha area called the South Omaha Terminal Railroad that was set up for the stockyards. And I thought, you know, that would be kind of cool, but what I really like about Union Pacific is it's a real tangible thing since this is kind of a bit of a fantasy of bringing back this Rock Island line to life, the uh, Union Pacific presents like uh, something more real so that people that come here and visit the layout don't have to buy into too many you know, alternate realities. And I, I really try to go with uh, just having one thing that's, that's different. And so for, for me, that is the, you know, that this former Rock Island line branch is, um, is basically kept alive and the rest is is a more tangible, realistic uh, thing. So, so, anyways, yeah. Hope, um, 
that's kind of what I've been doing the last few months, just kind of thinking it through, getting started, getting some documents ready. I wanted to get the website up and going before I announced it too. So, um, but yeah, and hopefully, like I said, I'll have some updates that I can share now. And that uh, I wanted to do this video so that you're not caught off guard with, with stuff that I post like what I'm doing. So, so anyways, hope that explained everything. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check one more time for, for comments and see if anybody else Wrote stuff. Let's see. Greg says, nice work, Eric. Always neat to see the updates. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Jim said he enjoyed the update. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for watching. So, so yeah, that's um, that's all I've got for now. I will keep you posted. I'll try to do more live videos, too. Um, definitely hit me up if you ever have an idea for a live video or something you want to see or, you know, the time of the week that works better for you, stuff like that. So, and again, um, like I said, I'm going to try to get back in op sessions this fall and we'll be posting more about that. And um, I also, um, one thing that I'll share with you real quick, I um, just like a week or two ago, got the, the new Proto Throttle, which um, a, a lot of you who, who uh, watched my op sessions before know that I run with uh, an engineer and conductor. And I've always felt that the engineer position didn't get quite enough attention because the conductor's really doing all the fun stuff. Well, now the engineer with the Proto Throttle gets something uh, more fun, I think, to play with and more realistic. So that'll be cool. I'm looking forward to trying that out in the next op session. Um, and that's something else I'll post more about and uh, um, post some videos about um, as, I, as I run more with that. So, so anyways, thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. And um, if you have any other comments, if um, you're watching this video later, if you have more questions, feel free to, to leave the questions and I will write back to them. So thanks again, and I will see you around. Uh, next time on the Stockyard Industrial Week. Thanks, guys.